The next Miss Universe Malaysia 2015 is presented to you by iPayEasy. visiting the old folks. Here we have Madame Teng, who's the founder of Joy Garden. Madame Teng, I'd like to ask a few questions. How long has this place been established? Uh, oh, seven years. Okay. And um, what sort of people do you take care of? How many are there over here? Okay, we have 22 people. Then there are some who are dyslexic, some who are dyslexic, and they are all young people. All right. All right, so let's continue inside to continue the task. So we divided to four groups. Sharina will cook cabbage with pizza. Um, Gloria with yeah, Pauline will cook baked potatoes. Okay, cook. Okay, me and Kohi are making omelette. Egg and tomato. Okay, so I, you, chicken. Okay, cool. So let's do it. Dried up garden, the old folks' home, and now we are preparing to cook for them for the old folks and their old age. What are we cooking today? Baked like beans and eggs. Yeah. But we are also preparing onions and garlics for the other girls. Some of them are preparing chicken, some of them are doing like vegetable dishes. Now we are preparing chicken sauce uh, for them. And chicken is, you know, we have to do the cleaning and cut. And it's not easy, a lot of things to do and processing very long. Right. Yes, and we have to do tofu also. Yeah. So Kelly is uh, cutting, slicing the chicken small pieces so we can make the tofu. This is some rice for those who can't really chew their food. So they need soft food. So we decided to make porridge for them. I forgot to turn on the rice cooker for the porridge. I actually thought, I thought this was connected to the porridge uh, pot, but no, it was supposed to be this, which I was supposed to turn in on. <laughs> Sorry! So we've started our dish. We're going to start to put in onions now. And just crisping it all up, making it make the aroma come out. It's so hot! <laughs> Now I know why my mother said you should learn how to cook. Garnishing by Miss, and that was done by okay. Vanessa. And this is the um, I don't know how it'll taste, but uh, hopefully it turned out okay. So not too much water. Lots of protein. Yeah. So we can't eat this stuff, but then like um, we're actually we're, like, getting so hungry, so we're like feeling a few, pretending that you know we need to check if there's enough salt, enough yeah. bait stack, yeah. right? Pretending. <laughs> but let's hope the old folks will like it. I'm really yeah. happy today. A lot of fun. So we finished our dish. Back bean and eggs. eggs. Very Chinese dish. Yeah, look quite convincing though. I miss home now. No. Good <laughs> job. Thanks. Let us introduce to you tofu and chicka chop and oyster chicken soup. Yes. yes. It's a very healthy meal. And then I chop the chicken with the tofu together and cook it together so it becomes soft. Yeah. And you know, we eat with the porridge. Yeah, yeah. it's easily to munch. And for this soup, yeah. we have a bit soupy with chicken. So whoever who eats the rice, at least they can dissolve it and chew it well. Yes. We were tasked with cooking vegetables today. So we decided to cook cabbage. Yeah. And meat. 
because it's like we thought it's the simplest but um, I've never cooked for 30 people in my entire life this is like the first time I know it's a simple dish yeah. but it was quite a tough job for me personally I think for Shay as well because both of us do not and we cook. don't normally yeah. cook but I think we did our best we yeah. tried yeah, the hardest we could we added a lot of garlic we added a lot of um, oyster sauce uh, fish cake one with fish cake one with that because you don't know you know whose yeah. taste buds differ and we also wilted it down a lot because we heard that some people couldn't yeah, choose yeah. so we thought it might be a bit oh yeah our them. porridge in the yeah. pot it's good yeah. I think yeah. the porridge turned out really well like the consistency and you know it's soft um, just nice I think for it to be eaten um, yeah otherwise I think we did a pretty good job although it doesn't look that appetizing it tastes good <laughs> the it's taste not the look that matters it's the taste yes. so it tastes well <laughs> that the girls have prepared for the old folks. And they did a fantastic job. And we are ready to dig in. given a task to feed this uh, so one specific lady. Uh, she couldn't move, she couldn't wake. So what I did is uh, I tried to apply my nursing um, skills into it. I added double pillow so she wouldn't get chalked and it's easier for her to swallow it down. What I feel about her is of, of course um, it's a normal thing for me to see in my daily nursing life but um, when you go to a specific place like the old fox home you feel it even more because you know you be thinking to yourself, or I'm sure all of you be thinking that how come this lady is you know been treated like this, just put there, and you someday in life all of us are gonna be old, and you don't want to be in that state. So I do feel a bit sad about that. Quite touching, Today's event was uh, very fun. At the same time, it was a bit emotional for me. Um, I broke down in tears when I was serving food to one of the uncle. He, because I looked at him more like my own grandfather. I recently lost my grandfather. I mean, not too recent. It was about three years ago but still because I'm very close to my grandfather it was very emotional for me and it was um, but serving him food was very fulfilling you know I felt those emotions were happy emotions so yeah today was a very blessed day indeed for me oh, when I had to serve um, the man who can't really move and all I felt a bit scared because um, it brought back a bit of images of uh, some charity work that I did do last time when I was a lot younger and I think at that time I wasn't emotionally ready and still I'm not emotionally ready to see certain bits of uh, disabilities and stuff like that. I, I get a bit scared, I don't know why but I'm not very ready so it takes me like a bit some time maybe to get used to that. Maybe I need to be in the circumstance a bit more, be around uh, that kind of disability. I'm okay with the normal ones, uh, but when it's to that extent, I get a bit shaken up. I start to feel a bit scared. Yes, I actually had the chance to serve an elderly Chinese man. Uh, I don't think he speaks much and I assume he can only speak Chinese so they actually taught me a uh, Chinese phrase to use when I served him the food. I can't remember what it is now but I remember that when I gave him the food he couldn't respond back and all he said was ugh, ugh and he started you know shaking his hand and I was a bit scared because 
I wasn't sure whether you know he was happy, did I hurt him, because he can't talk. But at the end of it, as I walked out, he started eating the food. So this huge gap of communication, there is a gap of in communication between us and the elderly here. And I think that the more you work with them, the more you understand what they're trying to say. So it's definitely more important to get involved. Okay, we have the the Next Miss Universe Malaysia 2015 is presented to you by iPayEasy.